Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I'll just I just walked into Holy shit, why is she so big all of a sudden? What the fuck? Why is she why is she so big? Maybe she's standing closer or something. You're practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Remember I'm super happy uh, I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival too. I mean I feel like you know what Monica's character feel like? Monica characters feel like someone who has a lot of talent and um, and does hard work with their talent. Like someone who has talent would obviously be superior to someone, but obviously you have to hard work as well. So Monica looks like someone who has talent and is also hardworking, which basically means she's an absolute prodigy, but she also feels like the type of character that wouldn't, uh, that is very humble and polite Till she finds someone who's like, you know, superior to her, and that's where her character starts to break apart. I feel like that's her character like that, uh, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't really know. But we'll see. I'm super happy. Uh, I'm super happy that we're all, all willing to help out for the festival too. Can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Uh, weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole a whole day of the school where you get to play and eat all kind of delicious food. Kind of bit uh, like Sari all of a sudden. Monica, uh, do they usually have fr uh, fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. You're saying you don't like squid? Uh, you of all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. What? I mean, it must be some Japanese thing. Monica. Uh, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying, Monica. <laughs> that makes no sense in translation. Yeah, she is definitely an anomaly added by this game. These are like in-game characters. This is not an NPC. This is something their game added. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own events for now, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as uh, Yuri or Sairi's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sairi anyway? Oh, there you are. Sairi's sitting at the desk uh, in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sairi. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go uh, You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Definitely alright? Yeah, definitely something not alright. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? This feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? That gives me a big smile. That is so fake. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. A worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back uh, towards everyone else. She must be feeling what like, uh, you know... Let's say you're really good friends with someone and they started hanging out with other people and then you're just like, damn. Like... I mean, I, I know those people, but like, they're hanging there and like, I'm not even that, uh, you know, I'm not, we're not on that same level as we were before hanging out and having fun and all that. But you know, such as life is that things like these happen. Um, but the conversation already dispersed with everyone back at the usual activities. Maybe I should ask Moni if she's not noticed anything about Sari recently. Since they have been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. Timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Blood, what's up? It does might sound a little strange, but have you not noticed noticed anything up with Sari recently? Anything up with her? Is is in what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little too much into it, but she seems a bit downcast today. I think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. I mean should be obvious. When he peers across the room at Sari, is idly dragging a rubber race up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. Uh, but I'm surprised I'm not the one but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Blood. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her, bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also a friend. I'm also friends with her. I also care about her well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she has a hard time bringing it up with the with the person of interest. Person of interest. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, blood. Me? On earth uh, would you come to that conclusion? Well, probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks a lot about you. Uh, but Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know. Huh? Uh, she has been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turning on inside of her. What? 
No way. Saturday's always like that. It's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that it's always been. You're so funny, blood. Uh, have you thought about maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's how she is always around you. She is when she's around you. I said too much. I'm sorry. What do you? What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should just you should just forget about what I said. I mean, yeah, these situations happen. But if someone is trying to go for one individual, then uh, you know you can't really force them other way. I mean, if our character Blood is interested in Yuri, then and if Yuri is up, up for it, then uh, you know I'm gonna go that direction. Even if, if Monica is not. Oh, sorry, not Monica. Uh, Sarah is not up for it. Uh, she'll move on. Uh, hopefully, considering there are dark themes in this, so let's see how that goes. Um, I tried to talk to her, but so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she is set to forget about it, but I already know that I wouldn't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk, walks, out, walks across the room where Sayori is sitting. I watch her knee down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. Yeah, she is corrupting her, I feel like. Um, I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she is behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? And now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of ordinary. Uh, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me over her book. Uh, but she just looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone and start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk, uh, sit in one next to her, uh, next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you on anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that when I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. It, it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. Uh, in any case, oh, by the way, uh, have I ever mentioned this? There's actually a law in India where if you stare at someone, I mean, I say someone, a female. If you are a male and you stare at a female for 15 seconds or longer, it's considered molestation, apparently. I mean, <laughs> like, what do we... How, who comes up with these laws exactly? I, I'm not 100% sure is it considered sexual harassment or molestation, but I'm pretty damn sure it's molestation. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be 100% on that. But as far as I know, it's molestation. So like, so me, like a dude, you know, in Japan in a crowded train grabbing ass is the same as me looking at a chick for 15 fucking seconds. Like who, who comes up with this genius stuff? <laughs> like it's beyond me. <laughs> Truly is beyond me. Like, I mean, there ha there has never been a master molester like myself, if that is the case. <laughs> In any case, I guess you were right. Sorry, I caused you any concern. Uh, sorry, I have a, I'm, I'm getting the sniffles. I have a little bit of cold for some reason in this goddamn heat. I guess I'm drinking too much cold water. I'm sniffing a little bit. Sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. What the fuck? Of course, there's certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping it to themselves. But if you'd prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. It's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. I can't help but wonder what if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Huh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just want, didn't want you to misunderstand. Sari and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. I see. And perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Maybe I just was reading a little bit too much into it. Blood. The world is full of meaning, often hidden behind plain sight. There are uh, many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. Uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all? Hmm, I think the Sari is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't match what may be going on in inside of her head. Yeah, I think she's a mastermind sort of individual, I don't know. Maybe she's just like one of those joker sort of individuals that like, uh, you know, are depressed on the inside, but they act like they're really, you know, up for it. Uh, but she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior too. I also feel some concern for her. But in, in your case, it looks like she was uh, fully occupying your thought, wasn't she? Well... I guess that was the case, Sari. She, re she really means a lot to you, don't she? I guess? We don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. 
Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as honest some, and and you, as someone honest and caring, maybe uncover feelings you weren't aware weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. Um, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not really as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? <laughs> that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Okay, yeah. I should, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Hey, okay everyone. For some time, Monica calls out uh, to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? If I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, she smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori. Alright, what's happening? Uh, I'm gonna show it to Yuri, of course, because that's the one I wrote the poem for. But, the writing has only improved in these last few days. <laughs> Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, what's the wrong... <laughs> that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. Uh, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something. You have never even shared it with anyone. Kind of a shame. Maybe. It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. But during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I've always had some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway, but... Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. People you just want to uh, be re make really good friends. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Deep thinkers, problem solvers who discover the mystery of mysteries of life. Uh, so when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know, those friends don't laugh at me, they don't tease me for spacing out all the time, they don't make fun of my body type, oh, who the fuck would make fun of your body type, god damn, and they don't hate me for acting uh, like a know-it-all, people say that about you, uh, I'm not a know-it-all, blood, it's the opposite, I don't know anything, uh, I don't know how to talk to people, I don't know how to make people see me as normal, I don't even know how to make myself happy, I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is re read and write. Uh, but it wasn't until now uh, that I started that I started sharing it with you. Sharing it with you, I really understood uh, what was missing all this time. That I really haven't done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful—that's really important to me. I know I'm I'm a difficult person, blood. I speak slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you always treated me just like anyone else. Uh, it's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. That is why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. But I, but I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And other people don't see that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I could make friends. Uh, and I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Hmm. To put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts uh, her head in her hands, okay. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Uh, do you want me to show, you, uh, show me your poem? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Let's see, it is a long one, not too long. Ghost on the Light Part 2. The tendrils of hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, uh, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette glows, closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I'm too late. He steps into the star street light, I gasp and drop my umbrella. Light flickers, uh, my heart pounds. He raises his arm to slap the shit out of me. <laughs> Where's my sandwich, bitch? <laughs> but no, that's not the case. Uh, time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. No, it's outstretched, not <laughs> for slapping, okay? <laughs> the flickering light is, uh, is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Un understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. That was such a fucking good poem. It's obviously about love and like 
uh, you know exploring yourself and like letting you allowing yourself to feel certain emotions i really like this line ghosts are blue green my heart is amber <laughs> that's so good holy shit 